What's up guys? So I'm going to tell you four things that I lost to anxiety. You can go ahead and leave me a comment down below and let me know the things uh, that you lost with anxiety. I'm sure uh, many of you have something to vent about or share uh, down below in that comment section. You are welcome to do that surely. So um, I'm going to start with uh, relationships. That's the first major thing that I lost to anxiety. Whether it was me pushing away people out of shame or guilt and isolating myself or uh, somebody literally just going out of my life forever. So I guess I'll start with the biggest one and that was uh, my ex-girlfriend. I was with her for probably about four and a half years. Uh, in the beginning everything was great. You know, We loved each other. We did everything together. Um, but those last, uh, that last year and a half was uh, really testy. Um, you know, that's about the time that I developed my uh, panic disorder and health anxiety. And uh, she just didn't really understand that. She didn't understand what it's about. I know many of us have been there, right? We either are with somebody or our family members or friends just don't understand what we're going through. And, and she didn't. But she tried her best to be supportive. She wasn't horribly mean or anything like that. Um, she would get irritated at times, but um, she, overall she was fairly supportive. The problem was that it changed me. I became a more agitated and angry person. Uh, I was very uh, confronting. I'd be, you know, I was never abusive or anything like that, nothing like that. Um, never have I been that way in my life. But um, I would just get agitated and argue about silly things. I would stay gone all the time at night. Uh, also, my drinking got way out of hand. I was partying every single night. Um, I, I wanted her to go with me, um, but she was a normal person and she didn't want to go party every night. And um, so I was doing that. And I, you know, tension got worse and worse and worse. Um, I often wasn't sleeping in the same bed anymore with her um, just because I couldn't sleep and I would have to go outside and run to make my panic attacks stop. It was just a really bad uh, place for us and eventually uh, she got tired of that and, and she left and um, in some ways I don't blame her for that because anxiety changed me and that's unfortunate. Um, sometimes we lose people to things like anxiety and um, that's that. I have a beautiful wife now and uh, everything's going great with her and uh, we have beautiful children so everything happened for a reason and it seemed to work out for me just fine. And I uh, only wish the best for uh, my ex. And, and um, you know, it's unfortunate, but that's the way life goes sometimes. Um, also, uh, family members, I started to push some of them away because I just felt like they didn't understand at all. Friendships, definitely. Um, my good friends, I, I still have them. Um, but whenever I had to stop drinking, I had to cut out a lot of people. And that was probably, probably about 75% of the people in my life. Um, whether you want to call them friends or drinking buddy, they were still some type of relationship. So that was the first thing uh, that I, I, I basically lost from anxiety. The next one, guys, is going to be jobs. I was a crazy job hopper. I would bounce from job to job, staying anywhere from a day or two you know, to a year or so. Um, the best job that I ever had was a general manager job of a sporting goods uh, store. And I've, I've told this story before, but I'll, I'll briefly go over it. Um, I got this amazing opportunity to be a general manager, so I was in charge of everything. And uh, it was really good pay, and I loved my job. I was good at my job, but uh, there was a catch. To be a general manager, I had to drive 45 minutes every single day. Um, not only was I struggling with panic attacks at any point in time, I was struggling with them especially when I would drive. So I would have to pull over on the side of the road and do jumping jacks and drink water. Um, I, I would barely make it to work on time. Um, and of course my drinking was out of control at this point and uh, I wasn't getting very much sleep so I was exhausted in the mornings whenever I would wake up. And that was a horrible vicious cycle on its own. And um, I was having panic attacks at work. And the very last panic attack I had at work, I just told myself I can't do this anymore. So I ended up giving that up. But I probably had during those four years, guys, I'm not even kidding, anywhere from like 15 to 20 jobs. It was ridiculous. Um, that was just something that came with the territory. I know many of you find it hard to hold down a job. Um, a lot of you will have more anxiety at work. Um, if you're a student at school, this can be the case there as well. Um, that's very normal, but that's definitely something that I lost. I lost a lot of jobs 
and um, all of them were by me quitting. I, I wasn't even fired from them. But um, uh, that's something else that I lost to anxiety back in the day. And then the next one, obviously, is going to be money uh, from all of the hospital visits and bills. Um, but there was something else that was happening. Not only was I losing jobs and not keeping jobs, so obviously my bank uh, role wasn't coming in. Um, but I was buying a lot of things to try to make me happy and satisfy me. So I was buying a lot of alcohol. I was buying a lot of tobacco. I was buying a lot of junk food and processed food and uh, materialistic things like shoes and clothes. Things to make me happy, to make me smile, to make me feel better because nothing else was making me feel better. I wasn't happy just to be me. I wasn't comfortable in my own skin. So I felt like I had to splurge on myself a lot and I did. I did that all the time. Uh, I never had a lot of money in my savings or bank account at all. Um, usually I was living, you know, paycheck to paycheck and, and oftentimes that wasn't even enough. So um, that was something else that I dealt with. I know many of you can relate with the financial issues, especially with the doctor bills and tests, um, stuff like that. And the last one, guys, was basically my innocence. And, you know, I don't talk about this a lot, but... Um, I was pretty innocent all the way up until my um, anxiety started, you know. i um, not going to go into crazy detail about how innocent I was, but um, I had a really good heart, and I still do. Um, but I just, honestly, the happiness and sparkle in my eye and all the hope and faith that I had in myself and in and, and this life just kind of went away whenever I had my horrible anxiety for a while. I, I just couldn't find any positivity in anything um the thought that i was dying every single day literally like scarred me like it it hurt me deep um because i believed with all of my heart that i was going to die every single day i woke up and that's terrifying you know i know what it's like to feel like you're going to die and um it was one of the things that was hardest on me so my innocence was definitely taken away from me um, there were moments where I was just not happy at all depression would come and go um, I was really down I, I didn't see any hope I didn't see any light at the tunnel for a very long time and that was kind of something that I dealt with uh, in a way anxiety hardened me it, it made me more bitter it made me more angry and um, that's definitely something that I, I kind of lost there was my innocence. So those are some things that I lost, guys. I know many of you have lost something to anxiety. Uh, feel welcome to leave that down below. And the purpose of this video isn't to just be discouraging or negative. It's to kind of show you that I've been kind of through a lot of situations you guys have. I lost a lot of things to anxiety as well. Um, so although there wasn't a ton of positivity to this video, I just want you to know that you aren't alone and I went through this and you need to make sure that you try to follow the process that I give you it's down in the description um, you know my tips the process that I use to get over anxiety and, and that's the natural way um, but all those tips are down below guys if you got any value out of this at all um, please leave a like I, I kind of went on for a while so if you stuck around uh, leave me in the comment section I made it let me know that you made it all the way to the end of this video um, thanks a lot if you, if you did that you're a ride or die uh, you know kind of subscriber and I need those um, also all my social media and um, resources for helping you with anxiety they're all down in the description below as well so be sure to check that out I love you guys and I hope you have a great rest of your day and um, I will be uploading again tomorrow